Hello. Um, my name is Nina. This is obviously my channel. I'm not new to YouTube, but I'm not really one to post videos like of me, I guess. But today started the first day of a new chapter in my life, and I just feel as if I should share it. Um, other people, women specifically, um, can probably relate to this video. Um, if not, I don't care. It's for me. I've been having an issue with losing weight. And it's been like that for quite some time. You know, I'm not going to say I've been trying to lose weight for years because I haven't. For a long time, I guess I didn't care or I didn't have the time to tend to it, if that makes sense. You know, I've been married going on nine years. I'm 28. So my husband and I got married really young. Um, I gained weight after getting married. We dated for 10 months and then got married and I gained weight after that um I gained weight after having my daughter you know and like I say time just go that was her who just passed by time just go by you know and I'm like dang you know but you know it's kind of a good thing for me you know although let's see like I said we'll be married in for nine, it'll be nine years. Although almost nine years have passed, which is, I guess, a long time. I, I, I don't know. I guess I wasn't. There's a time for everything, for everyone. And I guess during those years, I, I wasn't really dedicated to it, I guess. Now, you know, um, my daughter is older you know, I'm wiser, and I'm finally making time for myself. So with that being said, I went to the gynecologist, and she told me that by the time I'm 30, I need to lose weight, because after I hit my 30s, it'll definitely be more difficult. So it's like, okay, Nina, no more wasting time. And so I made an appointment with my primary physician. Both my doctors are women. You know, um, my gynecologist is one because she has small hands, which is beneficial for me when she had to go in my vagina, you know, um, and then it's easy to talk to her about, you know, certain things that talking to a man would just be so weird. Probably be like talking to my daddy or something. Um, my primary physician is a woman for the same reason. You know, I can go to her and talk to her. And she's the one I see more often. So I definitely need to be able to relate to her, you know. Um, so I went to her, to my primary physician after going to my gynecologist. And I was like, I need to lose weight. And she was like, yeah. <laughs> but, um, I told her everything I was trying to do. You know, eating healthier. I can't say healthy all the way, but definitely eating healthier. You know, introducing new healthy habits into my diet and my lifestyle. You know, joining a gym, Planet Fitness. I try and go at least three times a week. I stay from an hour to an hour and a half. Um, I know you have some people who live in a gym. I'm sorry, baby. You can live there by yourself. But I will go at least an hour to an hour and a half. You know, and she's, you know, she understood how difficult it can be. Um, so she told me that she can prescribe me some medicine that will definitely help with the weight loss. I was excited. She said before she can do it, though, she needs to make sure that my body can take it. She can need to make sure, you know, <clears throat> that, I'm sorry, y'all. She needs to make sure that everything is everything, which is understandable. So, um... She ran some tests on me. She did a physical. Um, she even checked my hormone level. Um, what else did she do? Check my, well, obviously, my blood pressure. She did some lab work, so they took blood. Um, you know, I guess all the normal stuff in the physical. And then um, she referred me to a cardiologist to make sure there was nothing wrong with my heart. So I set up an appointment with the cardiologist. That was actually Friday. Today is Monday, so that was Friday, Saturday, Saturday, three days ago. And he cleared me. He said everything is fine. No heart murmurs, no heart 
pal palpation pal palpation whatever um no blood clots no um um clogged arteries or anything like that so no lie like the second that he cleared me i called to make an appointment with my physician with my doctor so i went in today literally three days after going to see the cardiologist um because she told me she got something that can help baby i need that so um i went there this morning my appointment was like at 8 15 and um she prescribed me this i don't know if you can see it bitter me thinter me 37.5 milligrams and you take one capsule every day um by mouth for 30 days well this one is a prescription for for 30 days um i think you can use this prescription up to i think is it four to six months i want to say i think it's so it's not like a long-term thing you use it for like for you, you use it for like four to six months um she instructed me to use this for 30 days and when i'm finished to come in and do a follow-up um because this medicine have been known to uh it can raise your blood pressure and your heart rate it's not necessarily done in everyone but that is a side effect but it is something that definitely can happen so she wants me to come back in in a month from today so that you know she can evaluate me and make sure it's more beneficial than it is harmful to me um so after picking up my prescription um i go to Publix for my pharmacy so after picking up my prescription i immediately came home i am research queen i came home and i did research on it i was looking at different youtube videos um you know trying you know just just try because i i mean i listen to what my doctor say you know um you can i look on you know the little paper and whatnot of you know when you get prescriptions the little you know information paper that comes with it and all that stuff but i like to listen to testimonies of real people i like to see what real people have to say how it affected them in whatever way whether it's good or bad so <clears throat> i looked at these different you know youtube videos and honestly i've been seeing nothing but pretty much good things you know 32 pounds in a month 24 pounds in less than a month um well i guess that's three weeks um let's see 40 pounds in six weeks 18 pounds in two weeks 13 pounds in one week <laughs> You know, um, 14 pounds in two weeks. I've just been looking at different, you know, YouTube videos. Um, looking at other people reviews and, and whatnot. And a lot of people have lost a significant amount of weight. And for me, to be honest, I am 196. My goal is to lose between 50 and 60 pounds. Yeah. That'll put me between 130, 140 something pounds. Um, I don't want to be like a size two. You know, I, I, I like having, you know, a little thigh and butt or whatever. I don't want to be a stick figure. So I feel about 130, 140 for me would be good. Um, yeah. I might can go down a little bit more than that. I don't know. I'll have to see when I actually you know, start dropping the weight, how it affect my body. I can say that, but then, you know, you don't see a difference or so. I think I will see a difference, so I don't know. But anywho, um, so after, you know, doing my research, seeing that, you know, it definitely worked, people have seen a significant amount of weight loss. Um, I was like, okay, so what side, because they give you the side effects on this paper, you know, um, they give you the side effects. Where is it? They give you the side effects, but, you know, those are just, like, possible side effects. You know, that don't, that don't mean they don't necessarily happen. So, um, looking at all the reviews that I saw, the three main things people say they experience. One is uh, insomnia. They develop insomnia. Insomnia. You know, they have difficulty sleeping. That's because um, 
phenamine gives you like this boost of energy. So it's recommended that you take it early in the morning around breakfast time. For me, I get up, I drive school buses. So I'm up like four something in the morning. So I don't think that'll be an issue for me. Um, if I take it about four something in the morning, by the time eight, nine o'clock roll around that evening, you know, I should be able to sleep fine. Uh, the second thing is dry mouth. I'm experiencing that right now. My mouth is so freaking dry. And I've been drinking water and water and water like crazy. So I'm going to definitely go to the store tomorrow and buy um, a little packet of gum. I'm not really a gum chewer. You know, I can keep the same packet of gum for like a month or so. And then when I do, and that's because, like I said, I don't really chew gum on a, on a regular basis. And then when I do chew gum, I pop my gum in half. I cannot chew an entire stick of gum for some reason. And people think that's so weird. But why you pop your gum in I don't know. I just can't. There's just so much gum in my mouth. I don't know. But I always pop my gum in half. Um, so I'm definitely going to go tomorrow. And um, after I drop my daughter off to camp and get some, uh, some gum because my mouth is dry. And so the third thing is, let's see, difficulty sleeping, dry mouth, dizziness dizziness that's another that's the third thing that i've seen off of this list that people say they actually experience i'm no doctor i'm no nurse my major is accounting so i'm not even i'm on the other side other end of the spectrum i'm not even in the healthcare field at all but i'm assuming being that phentermine is and I'm, i think phentermine is um an appetite suppressant and it causes you not to eat you're experiencing dizziness because your body don't have anything to fuel off of. So for anyone who, you know, doctor, you know, prescribe them this, definitely make sure. I guess you're going to have to, like, force yourself to eat. So that's another thing I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, after I drop my daughter off, I'm going to the gym. I'm not going to just depend on, I'm going to continue to go to the gym. I'm not going to just depend on this to do all the work for me. Because once I'm off of it, I want to be able to stabilize my weight. You know what I mean? And I want to I want to go ahead and adopt a new healthier lifestyle now with the help of it. So when I start to wean myself off, it's not like I gain all my weight right back. That I don't want to happen. So I'm going to the gym. And then um, I have to go drop my computer off. To get, uh, I think she have a virus or something. I don't know she's been acting up. So I'm going to take her to get cleaned or something. Um, this little place called TechSmart. Um, they're a little bit, a lot cheaper than Geek Squad at Best Buy. And then I'm going to go to Kroger and just buy some, you know, healthy food. Which I've already been doing. You know, Kroger have this um, organic section. Um, where it's just like a bunch of organic foods, healthy foods, vegan and stuff like that. So I've already been shopping over there in that little area. So I'm going to go find some little healthy snacks to snack on because my pantry kind of empty. But yeah, a lot of people say they experience dizziness because they can go the entire day without eating. And like, and like I say, you don't, I mean, it's good that it's working and suppressing your appetite, but I mean, I don't know. Don't starve yourself. Your body needs something to fuel off of, like something, you know, some, something solid, you know? Um, so yeah. Um, what else? This medicine was originally, I'm going to fold it so you can't see, was originally, let's see, $51.95. I say, God dang. But luckily, and your insurance do not cover it. At least I don't know, like, look at, like, my insurance don't cover it. And looking at, um... You know, some of the reviews, no one else insurance necessarily covered it either. However, I have a prescription, you know, card that comes with, which a lot of people probably have anyway. It's always like an addition when you get health and um, health, uh, health coverage. Um, so that actually knocked it down to like $11 and some change, like eleven fifty one or something like that. So that was good. So I didn't have to, I was going to pay the $51 anyway, to be honest. But being that my little prescription card was a wellness card, knocked it down to like $11 and some change. So I didn't pay that much. I didn't even, it didn't, not even $15. Um, 
what else? Um, I don't know. I guess I'm going to just continue to make videos, you know, just to um, show progress. You know, um, like I say, for anyone who is interested in losing weight and don't have, like, you feel like this is your only means, you know. Um, today for me is day one. It is June. What is the day? Monday? Yeah, it's Monday, June 18th, 2018. And it's the first day for me taking it. I um, haven't eaten since 1030 this morning. And it is. 11:49, and I haven't eaten and if I'm still up past like nine o'clock the chances of me snacking is more than likely that's why I try and buy healthy snacks so when I do snack it's not like I'm you know indulging in something I, I honestly just don't need you know I really I don't need to be eating at eight o'clock anyway however if I'm going to do it I prefer it to be something healthy so that's why I buy the healthy snacks you know so that when I do snack I don't feel as guilty, but um, even with it almost being midnight, I don't even have an urge to eat at all. And a bowl of cereal is one of my weaknesses too. Hell, food itself is my weakness. I love food. I'm sorry. I don't see how people deprive themselves from it. I love food. And then being down south, y'all know our food is bomb. And nothing like some good southern soul food and seafood. Soul food and seafood. You know, um, but yeah, I have no desire to eat nothing, anything. And I and like I say, I buy stuff like um like celery and I'll eat it with um peanut butter. Um I buy like cereal that have high fiber. Um oh my gosh, I love kale. I love kale, so I have some of that. Um, Atkins make like little sweet snacks that have no sugar in it, like little brownies and M and M's and uh, the little turtle candies and stuff. So I have the brownies and I have um chocolate covered almonds that I got from the um the little organic part of Kroger, and like seven pieces is only like a few grams of sugar, you know, but I don't know. I don't have an urge to eat at all. Like, at all. And I feel fine. You know, I don't feel dizzy. I'm, I've been drinking water. Um, I don't feel sluggish. Um, I don't feel as if my heart rate has increased. I don't really, I don't, I don't have an issue with high blood pressure. I know people in my family that do, and they say they can feel it. So I don't really know what it feel when your blood pressure raised. So, but I feel fine. So I'm assuming my blood pressure is fine. Um, I feel fine. I really do. I feel fine. And I haven't eaten since 1030 this morning. 1030. And I don't know. So I'm excited. You know, I can't wait to continue this. Um, I'm going to do more research, and then I'll come back and just keep doing more videos during the course of my weight loss journey. Um, I guess that's it. So, if you have any questions, I guess you can leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer it. Um, I can only speak, like I said, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I don't have anything to do in the health field like I don't you know I'm not as knowledgeable I just get my information from my personal experience and just doing research but um yeah I don't want this video to be too long so I'm going to leave it there I just wanted to let you all know today is officially day one for me taking phentermine phentermine um and so far so good you know, um, I've been told that if for whatever reason I start feeling my heart rate increase, like I help get like this nervous feeling to take half of the pill. So um, me being so eager, I took the entire pill. But like I say, you live and you learn. So if I, if I were to start feeling those things, then I will cut down and just take half of it. But 
today being the first day and me being so eager to take it and see what it do, you know, I went on and took the whole pill, um, which is how you're supposed to take it. I'm just saying if you, you know, you can take half the pill. But, um, yeah, so I'll come back, I guess. I'll do a video a day. Um, you know, just keep you all posted on how I'm feeling, you know, what I've experienced, any side effects, um, pros and cons. So, wish me luck, you guys.